What's up everyone, welcome back to Lace Up Channel. My name is Mickey. Today, I wanna to walk you through what you have to do in the distribution game to acquire customers. So in the beginning, when we start the journey, we almost have either no distributors or no customers. And we've gotta go become effectively a sales rep. It's the good sales reps that succeed in this industry because it's a nickel and dime game. It's a race down to zero. You have to sell a bunch of money to make a little bit of profit. So guys, in order to acquire your initial book of clients, I'm gonna walk you through what I did. Remember, all of my customers are distributors. Anyways, let's get right into it. So I wanna rewind the clock back to 2015 when we had about 30 customers in the bag already. We were trying to acquire this company called Gilda Industries, the most popular, the most famous, but a chip, it's not chip, it's Cuban cracker producer in the world. I'm talking about these people used to be in Cuba, then they migrated here, and now they service all of Florida with these delicious Cuban crackers. So we end up inking the deal, right? Because you know what we did? We committed to riding on the truck with the gilded drivers every single day until our system fit their needs 100%. I can't even indicate to you how much money we lost on that deal. We literally went every day for a period of about three to four months to solve all of their problems, to give them the perfect suited application to their needs. So guys, this was a pure time investment, a pure time play from us to them. Now, what can you take away from this story? I would have never acquired this customer had we not put in that work. So how do you think you're gonna acquire customers if you don't do whatever it takes. You have to be willing to lose money. You have to be willing to go out of your way. You need to be willing to sacrifice in order to build these long-term relationships where the customer pays you invoice after invoice after invoice after invoice. And most people are impatient. They think, yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch of customers right now. My business is gonna make millions of dollars right now. I'm gonna build these relationships right now. It's like you think it's on Amazon and on Amazon you can make a little order that says relationships, check, customers, check income check. That's not how it works, guys. These things take so much sacrifice to close these deals. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit of another story. I remember this other customer called Valencia Wholesale. They're not my customer anymore. Guy was a character. But the bottom line about this company is they needed me to essentially rewipe my entire program to acquire the business. And you want to know for how much money it was? He ended up paying me 2,500 bucks and $400 a month. I had to work for that six months. The guy ended up leaving me anyways, even though I did exactly what he wanted. But the point is, I worked for all this time. I did exactly what the guy wanted and I lost it. So this is the flip side of the argument. Gilda, I won. Valencia, I lost. How does this happen? This happens because you have to be willing to give the same amount of effort to everybody and you need to understand that you are gonna lose some customers. But this work reaches a critical point, a critical mass, where you do this enough, where you sacrifice enough for so many customers that you build relationships. And once you build these relationships, your business kind of starts going downhill. Imagine a snowball that starts like this and eventually becomes the size of a house. It's because the longer it keeps going downhill, the bigger it gets, the bigger it gets. The more customers you acquire, the more money you make, the smarter you become, the better your product gets developed. And next thing you know, you have a multi, multi, multi-million dollar business that you're sitting on and that's exactly how it is guys so what I'm telling you is in order to start your business in order to scale your business sacrifice as much as you need to for your customers make the sacrifices today with them uh, whether it be with a chain store or with your distributors whoever it is that's your customer do the sacrifices now and give them things now so that later you can extract as much monetary value as much monetary energy from that relationship and that's how every single business works. It's a tit for tat, just like a relationship, right? If my significant other and I were 100% equal all the time, then our relationship would fail. Somebody always needs to be giving a little bit more. And in business, it's the person who gives more in the beginning of the relationship that builds the, the let's call it the stability of the relationship. It's the person that glues the relationship together. And that's the person that gets trusted forever with the customer's money. So guys, what I'm trying to say is sacrifice in the beginning to get customers, sacrifice in the beginning to acquire new people, to acquire new customers, and sacrifice in the beginning to give people the best service possible. And that will ensure the longevity of your business and your future success. Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Give me a big thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care.